of people don't know is that um, I was a two-time national runner-up first before I won a national championship in wrestling. I think by the time my senior year rolled around and I didn't make the NFL, I realized the importance of making sure I had fun with the team while I was in practice and make sure that I also enjoyed life at the same time. Compete with the best, you know, that's what I want to do and that's that's why I'm here. And, and like I've always said, when this, doesn't be, when this isn't fun for me anymore, then, you know, I'll hang it up and I'll move on. The, the style of fight that I bring to the game, you know, I just don't ever, you know, honestly see my fights ever going the distance. Engineering and MMA opposites of personality. Maybe I'm just not the norm for an engineer. I don't know. You know, I'm very passionate about both. I love engineering. I love the math, the calculations, the science behind everything. And then yet I'm, I'm a competitor at heart and I loved MMA and, and for the sport. thinking you know, academically wise or a smart game plan or anything in the fight game. When you're doing technique in boxing, the footsteps, how to hold your weight, and, uh, where power comes from, all those things uh, can be used. What's well, easier for my mind to, to wrap around it with my engineering background and to understand forces. This man is a wrestler holding a perfect professional record of eight wins with no losses. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Shane Carwin. Here we go. In the red and black trunks, the newcomer Shane Carwin. In the scarlet and gray trunks, if you will, Shane is Carwin. Christian Willis. Very stiff, he's throwing some big power in his punches. See how Carwin's head movement is, if he gets more...
Gonzaga can take him to the ground. Active guard passers in UFC history. Gonzaga back up goes Carlin. Carlin back to his feet, but he looked a little stiff in his stand up. He's Shane's got a hold of him. And the interesting thing there, Joe, is we talk kicks and you think you might get taken down, but here's jiu-jitsu is wicked good. So you can get here getting hit. This is this is the power part. These short launches of Shane Carlin's are very dangerous. He recognizes it, gets his head out of there. Feeling a little chunky right now. Just suck it in, just suck it in, you'll be fine. That's why I'm in here visiting these guys to get back on track. I'll pinch your heart at the normal. There you go. <laughs> I don't think that helps. <laughs> okay, your thigh, mid thigh. Put you right here. Now don't cry on this one, I know. Don't get too excited, Frank. <laughs> I'm not lifting it any higher. <laughs> All right, we got gotcha. you. This is more of a, a natural testosterone booster, which is going to elevate your testosterone levels. Plus, it's going to help increase strength, and actually, it's going to help reduce muscle endurance as well. Great. Highly recommend taking three in the morning, and then you can take three in the evening. Okay. Yes. Really good product. You like this? Perfect. That is. That's the real key. Having a hard time doing your arms. He's got a spar. Because when you're hitting, you're kind of relieved. The day is it. Instead of hitting, lowering the level. I think it was alright. I could have done better. Because with no penetration step, he steps in and you can dump.
Lesnar. Then it's very surprising, and right when I was saying that, he jumps in with a fast right hand. And he also is taking his time here. Special gloves this dude. First Triple XL gloves utilized in UFC history. For the Golden Gopher. Oh my! He's nodding with the crowd as they chant his name. Big knees. He's turning it on now. Big Round knees. two. Heavyweight title oh, on the line. Ready to get the is down. Lesnar is trying to finish. Brock Lesnar pounding away on Randy Couture. Randy trying to survive. He's a short little shot. Oh, hand to hand. Oh, oh. Play the winner by TKO. And now, the new UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Second, a big right hand and a bunch of hammer fists, and he is your new heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. Very calm and collected. Brock immediately goes for the takedown. You know, whatever, whatever he said, uh, you know, about the belt being fake and that he had the real one, well, I'm coming after it. And, you know, that's what I said then and that's what I say today. When that cage door closes, that switch turns and, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a much different person. When I get the chance to compete in the octagon and do what I love, and, you know, that's, that's go after people try to take their heads off and that's exactly what I'm going to do to Brock Lesnar. I think in this fight we'll see how good of a wrestler Brock, Brock Lesnar really is. I know I'm the better athlete. This is the kind of person that Brock is. He, he talks a lot of garbage and, and all that stuff doesn't mean anything to me. Because when that octagon door closes, it lights out when my fist hit him. Alright gentlemen, if you have your instructions in the back, I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times, defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves, go back, let's do this. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. I got those bucks. I'm ready to go. Let's fight! And here we go! That right hand against he oh, it's up to him. And he did it right there to Carwin. And now he wants to take down. Carwin's got a wizard, he stands back up to his feet. Throws a knee. knee. Carwin loves the dirty boxing. What a start! have begun. Carwin will be up the big uppercut. Fritz, Fritz is covered. He's rushing Carwin! Pulling away! Lesnar desperately wants the takedown. A knee by Carwin. Carwin's got Lesnar on the run. Shane Carwin trying to finish. Shane Let's Carwin! Run. Unbelievable! And pulling away! Lesnar trying to push him off. Carwin! Looking to finish Brock Lesnar here in the first round. The big question is here, how much has Brock Lesnar trained off of his back? Unbelievable start for Shane Carwin. Brock Lesnar's bleeding. Lots of fingers in the face. Uh, right on top of the action. Is Shane Carwin going to punch himself out here? Oh, big elbows! Carwin looking to beat down Brock Lesnar. Big right hands! You can hear him, Joe. Wow. Lesnar looks to push off. He's blocked it up.
Block is badly hurt, Mike. Shane Carwin has unbelievable power. And we have seen it here in round one, breaking down Brock Lesnar. He's going to get to full mount, and Brock tries to scramble, and Shane gets a hold of him. Brock trying to get to his feet. Shane Carwin's wife is behind us, and she's not watching. My body just started shutting down. I was pretty much just waiting for him to die, and he wouldn't die on me, so... Uh, you know, I exerted, I think, all my energy and everything into, into trying to finish him in the first round. And uh, I, I, I kind of had a, I just remember my body slowing down. And I think it was just, you know, trying to catch oxygen. And and uh, I went back to my corner and I told my coach, I said, yeah, I ain't got any legs. And, you know, of course, he did his job trying to pump me up. But, you know, there's 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 no bullshitting when, when you're sitting there and you know what's going on. Carwin looking to explode again. Is the big shot in. He's got him on his back. This is bad for Shane Carwin. Brock Lesnar, powerful takedown. Vicious ground and power. Battling for the number one spot in the world. He's got the mic. He's got an arm triangle. Trying to finish this fight. Trying to choke out Shane the Carwin. The way Shane's arms are, though. The way he's trying to stay very relaxed is yeah. Shane Carwin. With one of the strongest men in the mixed martial arts world. It is all over! It is all over! Wow! Lester is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world! Wow! Wow! Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke and still. Here's Shane Carwin with you. All right, I'm here with Shane Carwin. Shane, terrific first round. It looked like you had him badly, badly hurt. Do you feel like you punched yourself out? Uh, yeah, you know, I was going to kill there. Brock's, Brock's a tough son of a bitch, man. He took that ground and pound like nobody else, and I fucking tightened up, and uh, my hat's off to him. He's the fucking champion. I fell down the mountain, but I'll climb back up. All right, guys, come on down here. Last time we came in the weight room, it got a little crazy, a little loss of focus. I'm not calling names or pointing out people. But we fell out of the game plan. As a coaching staff, we have to regroup on that and, and figure out what's going to work best for our guys and, and helping them through, uh, you know, their game plans. You guys are coming down to me. Can I work in, Coach? Yes, sir. Now that we've lost control of the fight, can't sit there and worry about or try to think about who they're going to pick. Did they say against two? No, they didn't say. I didn't ask, but I'm going to, to, to go tonight. It's a void point right now, you know. You can do all the thinking you want. It's not going to mean anything. No, but we got two more for you to kill yourself. Ready? And go. So as long as you come back there and help each other and help each other improve, down, last one. Let's go, Neil. Come on, up. Position. Move and help the team build and, and make sure that we have a champion in our room. That's what's important right now. Almost done. Huh. done. Push it. Push it. Push huh. it. Push it. Push it. And break. Woo. We got one more. We got one more to give yourself a stroke. One more to kill yourself. Yeah. Or just, just been running with you. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Move past it. Just get better these five weeks. Yeah. Yeah. You're a great fighter. You're very talented. Work, work on the things that you need to work on now these five weeks. And you know what that is. Oh, I think everybody reacts differently. We all have our different personalities. It's, it's heart-wrenching for me to see, you know, one of our guys lose the possibility of their dream. It's tough, man. I remember when I lost to Brock, I went into the back, dude, and I was hyperventilating. Remember, my body, like, shut down on me. Mm -hmm. And all I see is me beating him up for an entire round and then I go out and my body shuts down. Right. I get in the back and the doctor's telling me my heart rate needs to come down and I need to start breathing and I'm, I'm crying, man. I'm upset, dude. Like you, we all, we all put so much into this mm -hmm. to become, you know, a champion or live our dreams or right. whatever that is. And when you have feelings like that, that's what pushes you to become better. Mm -hmm. 
if you didn't care and you didn't have these feelings, then you know, something's wrong. Right. Santos. Black Trump's car. He's got to be very careful about that. You can just hear the force of Wickley. There's a shot again. Ducked under the punch. Got the single. And he gets him down. Right back up there. Very quick, Junior Dos Santos. And he smiles. Junior with the lead hook. Before he got there, though, a quick jab of Dos Santos again. Junior trains his boxing with the Brazilian national team. One minute. Stay. 
Junior Dos Santos and Shane Carwin. Wow. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Junior Chicano Dos Santos. He is now 7-0 in the UFC. Awesome news. What is this? Oh, we have tried to get this... Uh, uh, Shane Carwin retired. Oh. Uh, wow, it seems like there are no, in, no interesting fights and I'm not getting younger. Let me explain. Let me just lay my gloves down right here on... Oh, he did it on Reddit. Mm -hmm. Wow. An hour ago. Wait, why is he done, though? Thank you to each and every one of you. It's odd to be healthy and unable to compete, yet able to compete when so unhealthy. I guess we end... I don't know what that means. I think he made a mistake there. With never... Oh, I guess we end with never knowing what could have been. Somber would be the best way to describe the emotion. Thank you all for the love, the insults, and the great time. I will sink back into the mode of being a Redditor and my quest to become a mod here. Are you serious? He's sort of making a little joke there. <clears throat> I am also on the hunt for a large fedora. <laughs> I'm like an eight and a half in so hats. Eight and a half promise. my ass, Shane. <laughs> Seriously, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being, an for being amazing and for making this sport amazing. I thought he was retired. And then I thought he was coming back out to try and fight. Did Bellator just tell him no or something? Uh, 